Hello and welcome to the video for fifth grade for Wednesday, April the 22nd. This is going to cover our new lesson, uh, working on units of measurement related to weight. So uh, this is the second of a set of uh, lessons that I'm recording in succession. So um, I'm not wearing the same shirt multiple days in a row. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with. So um, most of the units, or sorry, lessons that we're working on in this unit, we will see again next year. And we will be doing more of these conversions and we will be talking about unit rates and uh, other things as we go along, kind of reviewing what we're working on this year. So we will use this again in the future. So. Our units of measurement that we are going to work with today would be ounces, pounds, and tons. Um, so to start with, we are converting pounds to ounces. So if we have this particular model rocket that weighs four pounds, each out, uh, is 16 ounces, we can do uh, four times 16 to get our answer. And that would give us 64. And we have kind of a bar model uh, to show that part. Um, and we want to take the total weight minus the ounces the rocket is allowed to weigh. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, so 64 minus uh, 62. Uh, so the rocket itself, I guess, is supposed to only have two pounds of paint. Uh, so the weight of the paint can it be at most uh, two ounces. Uh, for Hector's uh, model rocket to be in the contest. So that's interesting. Oh, I see. So yeah, we, the, the starting weight was 62 ounces. The most it's allowed to weigh is 64. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, so number two, um, we will do this one really quick. Um, because this is the one that usually we have some issues with. Now, there are two versions of this. Uh, we are working with imperial units or um, customary units is what the, the book usually uses. There is another version of this where a uh, ton is related to uh, kilograms. Um, so we'll have a different uh, type of measurement for that. Um, so pounds are smaller than tons. So I am going to need to um, change uh, our weight um, by dividing by the number of pounds in a ton. So we have a space shuttle that weighs 1,282,000 pounds. Um, or sorry, those are the rocket boosters. So we actually have two of those um, on that, even though uh, you guys are probably not as familiar with that. Uh, the space shuttles were a very common occurrence when I was growing up, um, and that program was phased out um, as I was growing up. And so um, <clears throat> I forget when exactly the last space shuttle launch was, but i pretty sure it was before most of you were born. Um, so those particular rockets, we would divide by 2,000. Oops. And so we're going to uh, divide it into two factors that are easy to divide by mentally. So we can do 1,000. And so they think it's a little bit easier to do it this way. I would agree because we can drop three zeros off the end. So if I'm dividing by a thousand, we can cancel these out and we are going to have 1,292. And then we can take this number and divide it by two, which would give us, um, pretend I wrote that here, a one at the end we would have a, um, hmm. yeah, maybe we won't have a one, maybe we will have a six. Yeah, we will have a six. So 46 is half of 92. And then we would have a um, 600. Yeah, so 646 uh, would be the half of 1292. 
And so this is how many tons each of those would weigh, which is an insane amount. They use a, um, or used to use rather, a uh, particular um, transport vehicle that uh, we are used to thinking of how many miles per gallon uh, we can get in our vehicles. Um, that particular vehicle that transported the shuttles uh, would measure in gallons per mile um, because of how uh, massive the weight of one of those uh, was and trying to get that to move uh, from the vehicle assembly station, uh, which is a giant building um, that they would put everything together in or just outside and then uh, take it to the launch pad. So uh, number one, um, use the picture to complete the equation. So one pound is going to be worth 16 ounces. And so three pounds would be worth 48. Five pounds would be worth 80. I think that's right. Yeah. I probably could have done it easier going this way. Uh, so two pounds would give me 32. And then the last one, I could double that um, and get 64. Uh, number three, three tons. Each ton is worth 2,000 pounds. So that would give me 6,000 pounds. Uh, number five. So 23 pounds. So I can do 23 times 16. And this one might require a separate piece of paper. So um, I'm just going to do some mental math for the second part of this, because I know that this part is going to be 230, because uh, 23 times 10 is 230. Um, I'm going to get 18 plus 230. Um, and that would be uh, 368. I don't remember how many of these I gave, um, but I'll go ahead and do all three of these. So 144 ounces um, is going to come out divided by 16 um, to being eight pounds. Um, I famously, on the, uh, I believe it was the last video that I did, or maybe it was the, the last lesson, I uh, got staggered up on this one <laughs> with uh, working with uh, units of measurement for, um, I believe it was uh, ounces to pints or something like that, um, that I had to divide or um, divide by eight uh, and get this. So. Number nine, 352 ounces. Again, we are going to divide by 16. Um, so I can do that twice to get to 32. And I am going to have 32 left. So this one would be 22 pounds. Um, number 11, we are comparing. So I could take this number uh, times 16. And that would give me uh, 128, which would be smaller, so 130 would be greater than that. Um, number 13, 14 pounds, um, I could do this part times 16, or I could do this part divided by 16. I'll do the division. Um, so that's going to give me one group. Pretend I wrote a 16 out here. And so that would give me four, and that would give me 64. And I will have a remainder, so this side is going to be bigger. Uh, number five, um, I'm going to do times 16 because that one's easier this time. So I can get a zero. Carry my three, I get 80. So the side would be greater. Uh, number 17, um, I don't remember if I assigned this one because uh, normally I don't give word problems when they show up um, down here. 
Um, I'll do this one really quick. If we weren't supposed to do this one, I apologize. Um, so Bill has a bike that weighs 56 pounds. Uh, we have another bike that weighs 52. And then she adds a bell and basket. So the bell weighs 12 ounces and the basket weighs 2 pounds, 8 ounces. So we are going to have 16 ounces in a pound. So this part here, uh, 12 plus 8 is going to give me 20 ounces, which is going to be worth one pound, four ounces. And we add that um, to our two pounds. That would give us three pounds, four ounces. So no, this would be less. And I believe, unless I made a mistake somewhere, um, it would be 55 pounds four ounces, which would be eight ounces less than the uh, weight of this bike. So um, that's what we were working on for the lesson for today. Again, I will have um, some additional um, time to uh, be able to answer comments or questions um, and help you guys. I will be still doing the Zoom calls and so forth uh, for office hours. I just am preloading the videos uh, so that I don't have to spend the hours that I normally spend doing that each day. Um, taking care of appointments and other things that need to happen. So hope you have a great day. If you have questions, please feel free to post in the comments and I will see you tomorrow.